everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Katarina. Today's video is going to be my September update for my Panda palette. It's going to be quite a quick update. I do not have too much time to film today. We will be leaving to Greece. I am filming now on September 30th, but this video will go up after our vacation. I'm not going to take my computer with me, so I cannot edit there, but I still wanted to get this one filmed on time. So yeah, this year I am panning two palettes, the Seattle London Olivia Palermo palette and the KVD Shade and Light Eye Contour palette. And pan that palette, of course, is a project created by Ember F. The idea is to pan a palette. So yeah, let's just go through this. I do have pretty nice progress with both of them. Let's start with the Seattle palette since this one I have been banning since the beginning of the year and let me show you where I was with this palette a month ago. And this is what my palette is looking like at the moment. Okay, so there are three shades that I have been wearing during the past month. First is the gold. This one I am today wearing as my lid shade from midway through the outer part of my lid. I feel this shade is maybe a little bit too dark for me to wear it all over my lid on its own. It's not that dark but it's kind of like a medium shade and I just find for myself flattering if on the inside of my lid I do have something brighter, so today I do have a golden highlighter there, but I am wearing this one also. So no pen yet, there is a dip, but I think I probably won't hit pan on this shade until somewhere in December, but I'm still pretty hopeful I can hit pan on this shade. Then the peach I have been focusing on, I'm maybe starting to be kind of like uh, bored with it in a way, but then again, it is a really useful kind of like everyday lid shade. I was able to hit side pan on the right side. In October, I do want to finish the lower right corner and I want to start working on the upper right corner too. And yeah, by the way, I will be taking my panda palettes with me to our vacation. First, I wasn't supposed to, but these are kind of like slim. So I don't think they take too much space and well this one takes more space but it's so useful because there's really every mat you could possibly need. So yeah I don't see a problem taking this one and then this one is actually really sleek and compact. So on our vacation I can see myself actually getting good use out of the peach. And then the brown is something that I have been focusing on. I do wear it every single day that I wear makeup on my brows. Next month I would like to reach the lower left corner on this one. So yeah, pretty happy with the progress on this palette. Then let's move on to the KVD palette. This one I have been patting since midway through the year and let me show you what it looked like a month ago. And this is what the palette is looking like right now. So, in this palette there is one new pan. I was able to hit pan on Shucks, so this is something that I use as a liner. Today, however, I am wearing a liquid eyeliner, so I'm not wearing this, but almost every day I do wear just eyeshadow as a liner. I find that's kind of like quick and easy. And then I have been working on the neutral eyeshadows. You can see pan expansion on all of the eyeshadows. The yellowy shade um, Lattus. I hit top pan and bottom pan on that, so next month I would like to finish the right side of the pan. And this one I have again started to use both to set my eyeshadow primer and my under eye concealer. Actually, the first half or so of September I didn't really use this eyeshadow that much because I wanted to finish my Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder first, there was so little bit left, so now I have finished it. And since then I have been using this one to set my eyeshadow primer and under eye concealer. And also I do wear it most often as my brow bone highlighter, for example today. Because I find that the lighter shades, they can be kind of like a little bit too bright for me. The other uh, shades 
on the neutral quad I have expanded the pan and then of course Ludwin over here. It's something that I wear both as a transition set and as a blush and it's a beautiful beautiful shade. I also did wear this Succubus shade here and there. I wanted to focus on it. I didn't really have any goals but I noticed in August that even if I wanted to wear this shade I didn't allow myself to do that because this set is not something I really want to focus on in this palette. The main focus I want to be on the neutral quad and then Ludwin. So yeah, I kind of wanted to wear Succubus but I didn't allow myself. So I thought that I'm going to make it a focus shade because of that in September and I have been wearing it here and there. That is where this palette is right now with this one. Uh, as I said, the goal is to finish the right side of the pan on this one. Other than that, I want to keep working on the neutrals and Ludwin. So yeah, that's my Panda palette update this time. It's quite short and sweet, but yeah, that's where I am with these palettes. I'm still enjoying them. But yeah, that's really everything for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know if you are doing Panda palette. I would love to check yours out. This is my favorite project to watch and to do. So yeah, thank you for watching and see you in my next one. Bye bye.